Hello, Paul. Well, hi, Carissa. Uh, this is Paul Jason, Public Gaming Magazine, reporting on the spot where the news is breaking at the ICE Gaming Show, ICE Totally Gaming Show, in London, in Jan end of January. The show is held every year. Most of us have been coming to this show, well, for many, many years now. And so, to some extent, uh, we see a lot of similar things from year to year. But I think we have all would agree that this year really is a special year. It's, uh, there's always new things, new themes, new technologies every year. Uh, of course, internet, internet gaming uh, providers and internet techno technologies that will enable operators to implement internet has been big for a couple of years, but this year is everything is coming together. The industry as a whole, the gaming and gambling and wagering and lottery industries are evolving in a way that there's a spirit of optimism that we are on the verge of a new, uh, it's a little hyperbole, but a, a new era that is going to be really promising for everybody, the consumer, the governments, the operators alike. And everything is converging in a wonderful way, again, an overused term, I know, but it really is. The challenge here, the theme at this conference is all about integration. There are all these new technologies, multiple channels, internet, mobile, electronic games, distributed venues, where uh, the, uh, gaming and gambling, playing games anywhere, everywhere, uh, wherever you are and, and uh, anytime uh, and it's going to change the whole face of the industry so all these things are happening technologically but then what's happening from a regulatory point of view regulations always have to follow technology we it, it, it's been frustrations been expressed in the past that you know regulations, why can't they keep up with technology, they're holding us back. Well, it's by definition, it's, you know, the only way for regulations to catch up with technology is to stop technology, we don't want to do that. Technology is moving forward, but the whole industry and regulators and the, there's a whole feeling that we're, we're getting comfortable with the mode in which, okay, yes, regulations are following technology, but we understand it now, we're getting used to it, and we're working with it. Everybody is working with it in such a fashion that the next stage, integration, integration of cloud computing, integration of internet with land-based games, the internet integration of the different channels is a hugely complex endeavor that's going to deliver tremendous value to both operator and consumer and the ways and means of integrating it are, are uh, well, they're happening. It's happening now. We see it. We see the end, light at the end of the tunnel. Now the next challenge is, the next challenge is there's integration on the channel side, but what's happening on the consumer, the player profile side? That's another big question that there aren't there aren't very precise answers yet. There's a lot of different ideas. You have the outcome-focused casino player. You have the hope and dream lottery player. Now you have this new space, uh, multi, mu massively multiplayer games, social games, the whole entertainment focus, extended play, uh, social, all these new ideas, a whole new gaming space that frankly everybody's going to go after. Casino game, outcome-focused casino games are going to evolve to appeal more to the entertainment-focused uh, player. Likewise, Lottery is also evolving the hope and dream attributes of their games to appeal more to the entertainment and social-focused players. It's a hugely exciting time, but when it comes to understanding the consumer and the player and how that's evolving, it's a, a lot of unanswered questions, and so the smart operators and the smart commercial partners are trying to position themselves to evolve in ways that we don't know exactly how it's going to evolve, so you just need to be ready. Think technologies like cloud computing enable a, a super rapid deployment of new game content without the huge investment in, in infrastructure and platforms to do, to do all that. I better stop here. You won't ever want to watch anything that I have to say again. Thank you very much. But what other questions, Chris? Or do you have any other questions, or you want me to shut up for now? <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for this uh, valuable insight of the new trends uh, in gaming. Thank you very much. All right. Is the next uh, show in the uh, U.S. that takes place? In the U.S.?
Oh yes, the next show takes place in the U.S. March 20th and 20. Thank you very much. March 20th and 21st. It's Public Gaming Research Institute. It's in New York City. Our website is publicgaming.com. Just go to publicgaming.com. Check us out. Thank you very much, and we'd love to see you there. Thank you very much, Paul. Okay.